begin as we always do in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And also, what a great day, right? What a great day. Those of you who were uh, here during the pandemic, this may feel reminiscent, right, in some ways today, right? Uh, but here we are again. Today, you and I celebrate our membership in the household of God as we celebrate the solemnity of the Holy Trinity. And as we do always, we take a moment to call to mind our failings and our shortcomings. Aware that this God who loves us brings us healing and forgiveness. And together we say, I confess to Almighty God, to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault. In my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. And I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. God the Father of mercy, through the death and resurrection of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who sent the Holy Spirit among us for the forgiveness of sins. Through the ministry of the Church, may God grant you pardon and peace, and I absolve you of your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. So we're going to uh, join the angels and the archangels in the wonderful hymn of praise, the glorious. So we're outside, so sing loud. <laughs>
Merciful and gracious Father, you showed the fullness of your love when you gave your only Son for our salvation and sent down upon us the power of the Holy Spirit. Complete within us the work of your love that we who have communion in Christ may come to share fully the undying life he lives with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity, a reading from the book of Exodus. Moses rose early in the morning and went up on Mount Sinai as the Lord had commanded him, and took in his hand the two tablets of stone. The Lord descended in the cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name, the Lord. The Lord passed before Moses and proclaimed, the Lord, the Lord, a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. And Moses quickly bowed his head toward the earth and worshiped. He said, if now I have found favor in your sight, O Lord, I pray, let the Lord go with us. Although this is a stiff-necked people, so stubborn, Pardon our iniquity and our sin, and take us for your inheritance. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, put things in order. 
listen to my appeal. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you, all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. From the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Nicodemus, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. The one who believes in him is not condemned, but the one who does not believe is condemned already for not having believed, in the name of the only begotten Son of God. My sisters and brothers, the good news of our salvation, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. By the words of the Holy Gospel, may our sins be blotted away. You may see it. Oh, sorry. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. There goes my homely. <laughs> <laughs> our minds can never fully grasp the mysteries of our faith, such as the Trinity. We know that there is only but one God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And it was out of God's love that all things were made and has given humankind dominion all over creation. He is the God who has given us commandments through Moses, as we heard in our first reading, that we may learn how to live according to his law of love and compassion. But yet in the fullness of time, God sent us his only son to live among us. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, so that God may reveal Himself to us more fully. He has come so that the blind may see, the lame may walk, those who are ill will be cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead raised, and the good news proclaimed to the poor. And He has given us a command to love one another saying there is no greater love than this to lay down one's life for each other. And after his resurrection, he sent us another person, the advocate, the paraclete, to be with us, who gives us strength to continue to proclaim this good news to all nations, baptizing in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and it is the Holy Spirit that empowers the church so that sins may be forgiven. In the scriptures that we just read, in the scriptures that we read every day, we know how God has actively participated in humanity in the three divine persons. The Father, also known as the Creator. The Son, the Redeemer, and the Holy Spirit, the Advocate. We don't, have, we don't have to engage our minds heavily in this mystery of the Trinity, but what is important for us to know 
has already been revealed to us through sacred scripture and sacred tradition. But the most important thing that we need to know is what we just heard today. God's abundant love for all of you. It is out of God's abundant love that we were created. It is out of love that we are redeemed. It is because of love that God desires to reveal Himself to us in human concept, concepts that we can understand. In God, there is unity and diversity. One God in three persons. In us, creation reflects God's glory. We are created not just one race, but a multitude of races. We are created with different personalities, different gifts, different sexual orientation, each of us reflecting an aspect of God's glory. But united in love, we are a reflection of God himself. We are created as one people to be united in love. We say God is love, and indeed, it is this great love that unites. And we have a fancy term for this called perichoresis. To understand the Trinity is to love one another. Even though we are different, we are the same. Based on what's happening in our world today, we have much to learn. We, have, we hear of wars, mass shootings, persecutions, indifference, the desire for wealth and power at the expense of others and all seem to go against the nature of God. Yet slowly, we are making progress. We still have much to learn about each other. We still need to learn how to accept each other's gifts, bear each other's faults, and learn to see God in each and every person. And one day, we will all see God as He is, and we will all be united together with Him in love. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us stand and profess our faith as we say, We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, when in being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he arose again in fulfillment of the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. The Father, the Son, who is worshipped and glorified, He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As God's people called into existence by God's love, we now offer our prayers and petitions. response today will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray, pray for peace in the world, especially in Israel, Palestine, Lebanon, and Syria. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the end of war in Ukraine, 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Pray for a healing of the wounds of racism and discrimination of any kind. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. May God protect all refugees and guide them on their journey to welcoming communities. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Pray for our church, our bishop, our priest, and all those who serve the church, especially those at St. Catherine Drexel in Moorhead, Minnesota. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray that the life-giving love of the Trinity will flow through our parish community so that we may be untiring in supporting the lonely, consoling the grieving, encouraging the struggling, and forgiving those who have injured us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all believers, we pray that we may recognize through the Trinity that God is always present in our lives and constantly journeys with us through all the joys, the sorrows, and our everyday responsibilities. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray now for the children who will be receiving their first communion next week. Eva, Evie, Fiona, and Sabine. And we also pray for the upcoming baptism of Dylan Francis Smith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick and their caregivers. Are there any who should be named today? Peggy, JJ Stoss, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for all those who have died, and may they celebrate in the everlasting peace of Christ. Are there any who should be named? On Miss Godfrey. Diane We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. In this month of June, dedicated to the Sacred Heart, we pray that God, uh, Spirit might infuse us with great acts of love. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray as we celebrate Pride Month that there will be a cessation of all discrimination and violence towards communities uh, that are uh, 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 proclaiming who they are in the world. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And as always, we pray for those who have no one to pray for them. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Most high, glorious God, we bring you our prayers and petitions, those which we've spoken aloud and those in the depths of our heart. We ask you to hear and answer them if they be for our good, for we make them in the name of Christ, your Son. Amen. Amen. Please join us in singing our offertory hymn, All Hail, Adored Trinity, song number 354, that is song number 354.
As you know, all the gifts that come to God's table are transformed by love into something for us, the community. The bread and wine becomes the body and blood, soul, and divinity of Christ. Your monetary offerings help to support uh, the parish. And today, we had uh, uh, a gift uh, that the children have done for Sister Maria. So uh, after Mass, I think they'll present uh, some cards to uh, Sister Maria for her faithful service uh, to the education of our children in the faith. So pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's church. Gracious Lord and God, bestow upon your church the blessings of unity and peace, of which these offerings are the sacramental sign. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. With your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the uni unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one nature. All that you reveal of your glory, we believe of your Son and, and of the Holy Spirit. In confessing the true and eternal Godhead, we adore three distinct persons, one in being and equal in majesty. And so with angels and archangels, with the cherubim and seraphim, we sing the unending hymn of your glory. rightly gives you praise. All life, all holiness comes from you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the working of the Holy Spirit. From age to age you gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to the setting, a pure offering may be made to the glory of your name. And so, Lord God, we pray by the power of your Spirit to sanctify these gifts we have brought before you, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this Eucharist. On the night he was handed over to death, he took bread. He gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to all of those whom he loved, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again he gave you thanks and praise, and handing the cup to all of those whom he loved, he said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. <laughs> when we eat this bread of life, when we drink from this holy cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, till you come again. Spread of life. 
When we drink from this holy cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, till you come again. Calling to mind, Lord God, the death your Son endured for our salvation, his glorious resurrection and ascension into heaven, and eagerly awaiting the day of his return, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look with favor on your church's offering, and see the victim by whose sacrifice you were pleased to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son might be filled with his Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. Okay, Let him make us an everlasting gift to you, that we may share in the inheritance of your saints, with Mary the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles, the martyrs, St. Francis and St. Clair, and all your saints, on whose constant intercession we rely for help. Lord, may this sacrifice which has made our peace with you advance the peace and salvation of all the world, strengthen in faith and love your pilgrim church on earth, your servants, the patriarchs of Alexandria, and to your Constantinople, Jerusalem, and Rome, George, our bishop, all bishops, priests, and deacons, all ministers of your church, and the entire people your son has gained for you. Merciful Father, hear the prayers of the family you have gathered here before you, and unite to yourself all your children now scattered over the face of the earth. Welcome into your kingdom our departed brothers and sisters and all who have left this world in your friendship. We hope to enjoy with them your everlasting glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you give the world everything that is good. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. our Lord and brother has taught us to call God our Father and so we say our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you. And also with you. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Do you want to come up with me, sweetheart? Do you want to come up with me? You see me smile. I know I shouldn't encourage her, but I'm going to smile.
My sisters and brothers, this is Jesus, our Lamb of God. This is Jesus who invites each and every one of us into the experience of God's love and how happy are we to be called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Here at St. Francis, each and every one of you are invited into full participation in the sacrament of the altar. If it's not your custom to receive, please join us anyway, and when you come up, just cross your arms and we'll give you a blessing, all right? Uh, may the body of Christ bring us to everlasting life. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. For our communion hymn, we'll be singing, O oh God, Beyond All Praising, number 733. Number 733, O oh God, Beyond All Praising.
Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, bring us one day to that eternal union with your Godhead, which is prefigured here on earth by our sharing in your sacred body and blood. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So, uh, if you would be seated for a moment, we've seemed to have uh, been successfully eradicating some of the uh, uh, announcements at the end of Mass, because it's in the bulletin. However, uh, today, uh, our uh, school has concluded, and so... Um, in, uh, in, uh, in, in somewhat of an attempt to thank uh, our teachers, uh, we have a certificate for you and a little gift. It is by no means enough for what you do for us. It is astounding uh, how much uh, our teachers put into, uh, into educating our children uh, in the knowledge of God's love uh, of him and, and our neighbor. So thank you so much for that. I really so appreciate that. So, uh, uh, so I'm going to have some certificates and then... Um, I just wanted to take a moment and acknowledge, I know I don't want to embarrass them, but John and Michelle had a wedding anniversary, so I just wanted to uh, congratulate them. So, right, so, uh, uh, and we married two people yesterday, they told me they would be here, but I guess the party went on longer. So, uh, I don't see that, right? But when you see Leah and Michelle, say, uh, Leah and uh, Teresa, say hello, please. Right? So, Joan Boja, who has spent so many years directing this for us, right? Yeah. Hey, Boja, who is amazing at communicating, right? She's amazing at communicating. Uh, 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 Loretta had to go, um, but Loretta is planning a little bit of a luncheon on Friday for the teachers. I, 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 if I can, I'll be there with you. I'd like that whole night. Right? So I would say I'm going to make something, but I'm not. So, Maura, is Maura here? Did Maura? Come here, Maura. Yay, Maura. Hey, Sita, you want to help? You want to help me? Maura, thank you so much for everything that you do. Mary Ann, Mary Ann's not here, but we'll see her. Sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And Diane, Diane isn't here either, but we'll make sure that we get them to them. But thank you all so very, very much. Thank, thank you. Where are some of the children in the class? Do you want to say something? Do you want to say anything? <laughs> I was having a conversation with her with Sister Maria. But you know what? Um, uh, Sister Maria just had a little bit of uh, some recent surgery, but she seems to be getting around well. So I'm not going to ask her to come up here, but I'll ask you to take this to her. How about that? Special delivery. Special delivery. Yeah. So you, you maybe don't have a good sense of um, the work that goes into putting this together. We did this all through the pandemic, and um, I often uh, forget to thank Pat, who uh, put this uh, so much together. Um, and, and now yeah. he's got his grandson involved. But I also want to just thank Joan. Joan is our half liaison. So, uh, anyway, uh, and I also want to thank Matthew and Beth for leading us in such beautiful songs. So, uh, so, uh, so thank you all. And, uh, and thank you all for singing, right? So right after the final blessing, there's uh, we're going to have uh, sandwiches and salads. And please stay and join us, all right? Great. So. <laughs> <laughs> so the Lord be with you. And also with you. Now down for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go forth from this place in great peace and joy to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please join us in our recessional hymn, song number 355. All praise and glad thanksgiving. Once again, song number 355. All praise and glad thanksgiving.
send glad thanksgiving to God the Father be, the font of all things living, who reigns eternally. Praise to God forever be, one in life in persons three, mighty God. Saving God, God eternal Trinity. Christ Jesus, we adore you, the Son of God most high. With thanks we sing before you, who came for us to die. Praise to God forever. Be one in life, in persons three, mighty God, saving God, God eternal Trinity. O Holy Spirit, let us sing to you who reign above your wondrous gifts. Confess. The church sings forth your 